All right, for our very first requirement, we are going to be looking at icons in a React application. And the package we will be using is React Icons. I'm going to start off by clicking on the link provided here on their GitHub repo, which takes us to the documentation. On the left hand side, you can see different icon packages. Font Awesome, Ion Icons, Material Design Icons, Dev Icons, and so on. What React Icons does is allow us to use icons from these various packs in our React application. Let's see how. The first step is to install the package. If I go open VS Code, you can see that I have already created a React project using create react app. All you have to do is in the terminal, run the command npx create react app react hyphen icons hyphen demo. Once you have the project created, we install the react icons package. The command as you can see on their docs is npm install react icons. I prefer to use yarn though, so I'm going to run the command yarn add react hyphen icons. Now this is provided that you have yarn already installed on your system. Once the command completes, we can start including icons in our project. Let's start with a font awesome icon. Over here, you can see the import statement. Import icon name from react icons slash fa. Here though we need to specify the name of an icon and it just so happens that if you scroll through the list there is an fa react icon. So back in vs code I'm going to open app.js and get rid of the header first, get rid of the logo and then add the import statement import fa react from react icons slash fa which is font awesome. Now within the div tag we simply invoke the component fa react. Now let's save the file, open the terminal and run the command yarn start. In the browser you should be able to see a tiny react icon. The two props that I want to discuss here are the color and the size props. On the icon let's set color is equal to purple and size is equal to 10 rems. This should be 10 rem and not rems. Now you can specify ems or rems. I'm going to stick to rems. Save the file, go back to the browser. You should see a purple icon whose height and width is 10 rems or 160 pixels. As you can see, it is really straightforward to include icons in your application. Now let's say you want a material design icon. So I'm going to click on material design icons and if I scroll to the top, the only thing that changes is the import statement and the icon name. You can see that the import path is now slash md. And let's pick md alarm as the icon name. So back in VS Code, let's make the import import md alarm from react icons slash md and then add the component. I'm going to stick with the same props and use md alarm instead of fa react. If I save the file and take a look at the browser, you should be able to see both the icons. So for any icon, Add the appropriate import statement 
and then include the icon component. Now let's say throughout your application, you want to maintain the same color and size of your icons. Specifying them individually is going to be a pain to maintain. Instead, what you can do is make use of the icon context provider that the library offers. So at the top, import icon context from React icons. And then you can wrap your top level component with the context provider. So icon context dot provider. And for the value, we specify an object. And as key value pairs, we specify the color and the size. So color, let's go with blue and then size 5 rem. And we of course need to close icon context dot provider. And I'll remove the props on the icon components. If I now save the file and take a look at the browser, you can see that both the icons are in blue and five rems in size. So if you want to set some props across all icons in your application, context provider is the way to go. And of course, if you specify the props on the individual component, that takes precedence. So if alarm is purple and 10 rems, it overrides the context provider value. In the browser, you can see that the two different styles are being applied. So that pretty much is our first package in this practical React series. React icons, which offers different packs of icons for use in your React application. If you're familiar with different icon packages, please do leave a comment as it will help out others who are viewing this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.